segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. If nothing seems to work for your colicky baby, have you tried acupressure? Acupressure can help calm the baby, relieve stomach pain, even migraine headaches. We have Karina Butler <laughs> here. She's a pediatric acupuncturist with Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital. To show us acupressure, it's not using needles, you're using what, pressure points like massage? Right, we actually use the same acupuncture points that we mm -hmm. use, but we just do a little pressure on it. Mm -hmm. um, children respond very quickly to pressure points, so we go ahead and access those energetic channels to heal that okay, way. So what would you do for like a colicky baby? So with a colicky baby, um, there are two points that work very nicely. One is right here on the hand in between the thumb and the pointer finger. Okay. And you're just gonna wanna put a little pressure. I kinda do it in a little circle, but you put a pressure on it count to me about 15 if they're small so infants. You're not pinching, you're just pushing a little you're bit. You're just gentle just pushing. Like yeah. a tiny massage. Yep, and okay. children will respond very quickly. You do that for about 15, mm -hmm. um, 30 counts. And then you also can do a point back here called do 12. Okay. And again, you're just rubbing gently. It's on the third thoracic vertebrae. Mm -hmm. And you just, Feel. I mean, parents yeah. do this normally anyway, right? Mm -hmm. This is a good point to calm babies down. But this also will help calm the child and um, hopefully help help with the crying. Okay, and is there any special trick to it? How hard do you push? How, or is it too light? You really don't want to push too hard. Um, if you go lightly and you're not getting any response, then you can go a little bit harder. What you do not want to do is bruise the baby right. or the child, right? Okay. You want it to be a calming effect and you want it just to access that healing energy. Okay, what about for stomach problems? For stomach problems, um, anything going on digestive and even to boost the immunity, you can go right here on the knee. Um, it's right hmm. gonna be right on the shin. Huh. And how you find it is you look at the knee, kind of measure it and you're gonna go that far from down the leg. The whole distance. Of yep. The okay. And it's a large point, so here you can go a little bit larger. Um, I usually go in the clockwise. Okay. Clockwise. Okay. Right. Is and there so a pressure point where we can find it online somewhere? Real quick, we're out of time. Um, yeah, Intermountain. Um, Intermountain.org, I think, has it on, and okay. we have all those points listed. Okay, with Intermountain Primaries, and we'll yeah. put it on our website too, so you can find it. KUTV.com. Karina, thanks so much. Thank you. Lindsay, did you learn something? I did.